one of the pain points that I oftentimes see with Smartsheet is that it's a really flexible, low code, no code solution, which is awesome. But it gets us a situation where people are building out solutions and they don't really know everything that's impacted by the changes that they make. So today we're going to talk about an example solution and what we build at Echo, which we call Solution Diagram, where we're trying to track some of how the data connects to the different what we call components or artifacts or um, pieces of the Smartsheet solution, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at one of our templates, which is the project template, and I'm going to just create as new, save as new so that I can play around with it if I wanted to. Um, and I'll go ahead and move that into my Sheets environment because I don't want people to get confused about my draft. Right. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to click save. So now I have a copy of my project template and I'll go. Um, oh, it's going to take a moment because there's a lot of different pieces to it. OK. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to show you something that I created for our team to help us with um, creating Smartsheet solutions. OK. Um, and so what this is is a solution diagram. That's fine. Um, and you'll see that I've kind of just gotten some icons here, right? So we've got a form, an update request, a sheet, a report, and dashboard. So these are kind of the core components of Smartsheet. Um, and then I've also added some user roles and I had a little key down here so that people could kind of see what this looks like. So I'm just going to show you an example of a, a solution diagram, right? And then I'll kind of build out one from a template that we've created. So in this example, these are sheets, right? This is an update request, which happens to be an automation. And this is an intake form um, that populates a sheet, for example. And then we've got some dashboards over here and some reports and all this other stuff. And we've got some people um, and it's pretty complex, but what I'm trying to do is articulate, these are the different components of the solution and these are how they feed different information um, into it. So if I know that if I make an update to project intake list, um, that it's going to impact these reports. It's going to impact this update request, this function metric sheet. So I'm going to need to make updates in other places in order to um, in order to still have everything work. All right. So uh, anyways, before I go into that, let me go into my individual solution, which is a project template. So in the project template that Smartsheet that um, there's a couple of different templates. Again, if, if you're not familiar with templates, um, uh, there's Solution Center and Smartsheet and they have templates and there's templates which are like a single sheet and then there's template sets. And so, for example, they have template sets for project management office. And if you look at this, you'll see that they have, for example, multiple different um, sheets and dashboards and things like that for it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of create that um, solution diagram like this so you can understand what the different pieces are and how they flow. OK, so um, and they'll show you here like what's included in all the different components, et cetera. But like what if you aren't using their standard solution? How do you create a solution diagram? And so that's what we'll talk a little bit about today. So uh, for Echo, we create our own solution template sets that we use with our clients and um, kind of walk them through how to do that. So let me go here um, and I'm going to just go to my recent. Let's see here. I was just doing a demo on something else, so that's probably why I've got a couple of different things in here. All right, so if I come here and I go to my sheets environment, um, you'll see that I just barely added in um, the project um, template. And in the project template, you'll see that I have a project dashboard. I'll have the project plan or schedule, but I also have a requirements sheet, a stakeholder list, a uh, crate log. So you might be familiar with this if you think of like issues, risk logs, decision logs, um, also change requests. So our solution actually has those all together um, so that we can manage all of them and just treat them differently if they are, for example, a change versus a decision or issue or things like that. So I won't go too deep into crate log. We have a different video for that. We also have a budget and a budget tracking sheet. And then you'll see that I also have a series of reports. So I have reports for budget. I have reports for CRADE reports. I have dashboard assets. So dashboard assets are both a metric sheet, but it's also a report that I use for an individual um, graphic 
that's on the dashboard. So it's not really a report as in it has all the columns, for example, but instead it's a report that only has the information that I need. So for the phases one, for example, it's just an image that I use on the um, on the dashboard. So anyways, dashboard assets are only for the dashboard. Um, and then these reports are things that you would actually use because I want to see what's due in the next two weeks. So it'll show up on my dashboard, of course, but it'll also be something that I use um, maybe as a project manager. OK, so I know that I have all these different components. I have a dashboard and I have all of these different sheets. Um, and then I also have all of these different reports. These different reports have different data sources, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cre create a, um, a solution design for this specific template, OK? So to do that, you know what? I'm going to just take a screenshot to make my life easier, um, to remind myself of all the different components that I've built here. So here we go. These are the different components. I'm going to copy that and I'll just go into my PowerPoint example and I'm going to just paste this right here for right now. OK, so these are the pieces that I have built in my project template. So I know that I have a project dashboard, so I'm going to move this over here and I'm probably going to just call it project dashboard. Right. And then I know that I have a, a sheet that's going to be a project plan, but I have lots of different sheets here, right? So I'm actually going to copy this. I'm going to paste it, paste it, paste it. How many sheets do I have? Paste, right? So up here, I'm going to have, let's see, I've got budget reports. So I'm going to need a budget sheet. Um, and I like to use, right, budget sheet. And I'm also going to need a budget tracker. Right, and a budget tracker, um, just so you know, it's budget tracker is how I manage like invoices. If you're like doing vendor management, and there's multiple in invoices versus my budget sheet, which is summarizing everything up and looking at it monthly and forecast to actuals and all that other good stuff. So if you're interesting, if you're interested rather. Okay, so I've got a budget tracker and I've got a budget sheet. What else do I have? I have a crade log, right? So I'm gonna call this my crade log sheet, or I'm just gonna call this crade log. Right, and then I also have, what else do I have? I also have a project plan. Right, and then I also have, it looks like a requirements and a stakeholder list. I'm gonna do copy there, copy, and then for this one, I'll call this my requirements sheet. Sheet. And then for this one, what are we going to have here? This is a stakeholder list. OK. All right, so uh, let's just uh, let's see here. I'm going to move these up. I'm just using um, PowerPoint for our more complex solutions and clients. We typically use Visio. It really depends on the organization if they have access um, to. To that information, so I, I don't typically start start with um visio but if it's a larger organization or a larger component i definitely do um okay so project dashboard is usually kind of the end result so i typically put that over to the right um and then i'm just gonna get rid of this for right now you guys know that we're echo consulting right um okay and so then i have the different sheets here so the next piece that i see right is that i have these different sheets they go to the dashboard but does the information go directly to the dashboard or do they have reports that go to the dashboard so typically what i do is i talk about different report sets um so here is the report set which is budget reports right and i can spell i promise budget reports um, and for budget reports, both these go into it. So I'm going to insert, you know, I'm actually going to do this. I do it this way, but you can insert a connector. Um, and so the way I do this is I'm going to do click paste. I'm going to click this and I'm going to put it here and I'm going to do this and I'm going to connect it to there. The reason why I do to the two little dots is so that if I move it around, just like in Visio, right? Like, or another workflow platform. And then for this, I typically just copy and paste. It's easier for me, um, but I'm sure there's other ways to do this. And the budget tracker is also going to go into the budget reports. 
Okay. So something that's interesting is sure there's going to be budget reports, but there's actually something called a budget. Um, so there's a budget sheet and then a budget tracker. The budget tracker goes up into the budget sheet because this is a summarization of this. Um, so in this case, I'm going to um, actually do another one of these and I'm going to indicate that this information right gets linked into this information 